In June 2021, two prominent members of the Fink's Motorcycle Club were arrested and faced charges in connection with a fire incident at a tattoo parlor in Blacktown. Charlie Barakat and Jack Baum, both prominent and high-ranking members of the Finks, were apprehended by detectives from the Raptor Squad who conducted raids on their residences in northwest Sydney in November of the same year. Barakat was taken into custody at his Castle Hill property, while Baum was arrested at his Box Hill home. The charges leveled against them included knowingly and recklessly directing a criminal group to aid in criminal activities, as well as causing property damage through the use of fire. Detectives uncovered compelling evidence on Barakat's phone that implicated him as a senior member of the Fink's Castle Hill chapter. The evidence revealed numerous instances where Barakat instructed fellow bikies or their associates to engage in illegal acts, such as drug trafficking and carrying out violent acts. These activities were carried out with the aim of elevating the Finks to become the most notorious motorcycle club in Australia. According to statement of claims filed at the court, Barakat orchestrated a chaotic firebombing incident targeting a tattoo parlor in Blacktown, believing it to be owned by bitter rivals the Mongols. It is conceivable that this incident may have been motivated by a desire for retribution, intending to deliver a strong and impactful message to his adversaries. Intercepted text messages revealed that Fink's bikey intended to cause damage to the Mongols by instructing two club associates to set fire to Blacktown Tattoo Studios. Court documents disclosed that the prospective members initially tried to break into the parlor and failed, they then poured fuel beneath the damaged security door, igniting it and causing damage. However, the situation took an unintended turn when they mistakenly targeted a butchery next door, named Blacktown Halal Meats, resulting in over $65,000 worth of damage. Neither of the targeted businesses had any actual connections to the Mongols. Although a historical association existed between the tattoo parlor and the Mongols through a previous owner, but the business had been sold in 2013, and the current owner had no affiliations with any bikey clubs. Barakat 41 entered a guilty plea for the charge of being an accessory before the fact to intentionally or recklessly damaging property by fire or explosive on June 22, 2021. During the court proceedings, Magistrate Aaron Tang recognized that Barakat had been dealing with substance abuse, alcohol dependency, and mental health issues, including post-traumatic stress disorder stemming from his military service in the Australian Defence Force, at the time of the firebombing incident. Additionally, Barakat had distanced himself from the Fink since then. The magistrate also acknowledged that Barakat had already completed substantial community service as part of a community corrections order he received in December for his involvement in directing a criminal group. In the recent week, Barakat received a fine totaling $1,300 and was placed on a two-year community correction order for six additional charges related to items discovered during a search of his residence. These items included cocaine, steroids, a cigarette lighter resembling an antique revolver, and a concealed knife. During the arrest, officers also discovered a hidden bar concealed in the back garage shed of the property, which had been set up for club parties, hangouts, and get-togethers. Instead of imposing a full jail sentence, he had previously been given a 20-month intensive correction order, which mandated 300 hours of unpaid community service. Barakat's legal team successfully argued that this order was unduly severe, considering his decision to leave the bikey lifestyle and the low probability of him re-offending. As a result, his sentence was amended to a community corrections order, requiring him to complete 100 hours of community service. Magistrate recognized that the defendant's past involvement at the top of Bikey Club and the calculated planning that accompanied it. He acknowledged that despite the defendant's involvement with the Finks, there had been periods of positive contribution to the community, particularly through his service in the Australian Defence Force and there was a hope for a potential change. <laughs>